Well, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM21 and our Project Black Sea series. Uh, last episode, my friends, is linked above for you right now. Be sure to go check that one out. Uh, it was like a big game in the league and uh, the first leg of the cup, the second leg, is going to come in today's episode. Now, today, as the title suggests, is a huge episode. This could be absolutely massive. We could potentially secure the league title for a second year in a row and maybe, just maybe, even secure our place in the cup final for the first time. So without further ado my friends, let's just crack on shall we? Let's do this. So here we are my friends, we are going to be cracking on with the football straight away, we're going to do a two game episode today um, and then uh, once they're done I'll discuss basically what's going to happen next time. Uh, if we win this game against Botev Plovdiv in the league then there will be no need to bring you any more league football because we can secure the title in this game with a win so um, that is exactly what we're going to be trying to do and then obviously like I've said we are going to be playing the second leg of, uh, of the cup game, we won the first one by three goals to one so we have a very very good advantage going into that so without further ado my friends let's crack on shall we let's try to win the f bet title once again we're going to go with petrov in goal iradi and uh, verdanikov a fullback markov and malinov at center back we're going to go with yankov dimitrov in the midfield topes bonev on the wings gagliardi through the middle and zhivkov up top this team was so impressive against ludogretz felt the need to go with it once again so here we go big big game massive game I want three points. I don't want this going ticking over to the next one. I want to do it right now, get the job done, and then we go on to the cup. Um, and yeah, that's just what I want. Okay, I don't want to have to do another episode of league football waiting to see if we secure the title. I want to do it against the team that has been the best other than us, and that is Botev Plovdiv. So the boys walk out, big game coming in and coming at you, my friends. Let's just hope. Let's just hope we get the job done. Oh, free kick. 40 odd seconds into the game it's over the bar obviously botev mean business um we need to be better come on right we've been good recently on a real good winning run but so are the opposing team they've been just as good as us this season uh, definitely here we go bonev back to yankov bonev's never gonna run past people like petkov can um but petkov's just not been fit enough iradi into Topes, tried to turn his man, he gets to Aradi, lots of space, oh, it's a good opportunity, but it's just ping-ponged about and then cleared away, should have been a goal, should have been a goal in my opinion there, right, it's now Botev's turn, with a throw in, good ball into the box that is, well headed out though, and we can't get near, we can't get near it, come on though, come on, nothing silly, you got to, you got to mark your men, Defend. There we go. Good challenge. Oh my god. Iradi's been fouled there, surely. Surely Iradi's been fouled. I'm so glad that's been disallowed because Iradi was upended and they still played through and they, they uh, put it in the back of the net, but it's offside in the end. Right, throw in. Come on, use this, Iradi. Use this into topes. Good stuff. Dimitriov and Bonnet! Get him there. I had to wait until that was confirmed because I thought maybe, just maybe, that was going to be offside. But that's a top, top goal for Bonev at the back post. And uh, that's the reason why I've put him in there. Um, he's, been a, he's been a staple, hasn't he? The whole series. Um, and he's playing well. Playing well in this game. So 20 minutes gone. Still a long way to go in this potential title deciding game. Um, let's just hope we can get through it. Just hope we can get through it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, nearly at the half-hour stage. Whew, I feel like this uh, this game of football is uh, going very, very slowly. Topes back to Iradi. That's really good stuff to get us out of a tight situation. Verdanikov now. Need to get a ball in the box. He does, and he goes back to Dimitriov. And it's so close. He hasn't scored this season, Dimitriov. And he was so, so close to scoring there. Unlucky, very, very unlucky. Right, first half is nearly at an end, and uh, with a 1 0 advantage going into the second half, I feel quietly confident, but I know how good Botev are. They've got some good players as well, and they play some good football, but that's good stuff. Um, come on, there's still room for improvement. We're going to go with that. I'm going to try and G the boys up and try and get through this second half. Right, goal kick to our opposition. We've won that. Won that really well, Topazov. 
Um, Dimitri over now, back to Iradi. Malinov. Got to go somewhere, boys. Got to go somewhere with it. We do. Yankov. Malinov. Markov. All the way back to the keeper. That's not where I want to go with it. Okay, I'm all about for looking after the football, boys, but I need to go up the other end. Iradi now. Plays Topes. He's got loads of space. His turn was not very good, though. Zhivkov. Zhivkov. Good ball. And Bonev. I think Bonev. He's got a second goal. Get in there. I thought the opportunity had gone with Gagliani's uh, shot. Uh, it missed. It deflected off the defender. But it looks as though we're on course, ladies and gents. And Bonev, a very, very unlikely hero, it has to be said. He hasn't been playing the most football for us over the last few seasons, has he? But... He's putting in a shift today. That's a poor pass from them now. Oh, Topazov, he went for the killer champagne pass and it hasn't worked out for him. Uh, it's back with them still though. And we're pressing the ball well and I think that's the, what's causing problems. Although, that's a good ball up the wing to get in behind us. Diara stands that one up. Bonev needs to clear. He doesn't. He just doesn't. And, oh, it's hit the post. Clear it, we do. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And that's how quick it can turn on its head when you're up against an opposition like we are today. Um, oh, dearie me. We are at the hour mark. Do I make changes? I'm probably going to have to make some changes because the team isn't the fittest at the moment, unfortunately. And we've got that cup game to think about. But this is massive. Um, give me another league title over a cup final any day of the week. We're going to make that Del Duca change. Uh, he's coming on for Dimitrov. Um... Bonev might be next. He might be next. He's on a hat trick though. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a is it them or us? Yes, yeah, us. We're gonna have a free kick. And Markov is standing over this. And Markov shot is saved on to the woodwork. Oh my god, ignore that. Uh Bonev, I am gonna bring him off. We're gonna bring Petkov on for the last 10 minutes. I know he was on a hat trick, and it seems pretty mean to do that, doesn't it? But uh but yeah, we've got, to, we've got to do that. That's a good header out. Gagliardi now. He's going to drive forward. He's going to drive really, really well. And Zhivkov is there if he needs. And no, he's gone back to Yankov. Yankov seals it. Yankov seals the title for a second year in a row. We'll make that topers of uh, substitution. What a goal that is on the counter. What a goal on the counter that is. Oh, they had a good chance there, though. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a, what a chance. What is Petrov playing at there? Trying to go quick. Just, just, just take your time there, boy. No need. No need to rush anything. Goes back to Petrov. Long into Zarbov. He's going to try to go wide, and it hasn't worked out. I kind of get the feeling they're going to score here. No, yes, they were always going to score. Always going to score from that. Uh, you could just tell we were rushing things and we really didn't need to. Um, Del Duca back to Malinov. Let's just not be silly now and uh, let them back into this game. Gagliardi driving forward, driving, and uh, that's uh, another opportunity for us. It is missed. Please don't let them go up the other end and make the last bloody 10 minutes or whatever too interesting in this game. We've won it back again. Zarbov. Oh, what? Zarbov's come on and he's actually given the ball away more than he's looked after it. I'm a bit worried actually now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tackle, 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 tackle. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't let them score. Please don't let them score. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please sort yourselves out, boys. Why, oh, why, oh, why have we gone to pot at the end of this game? 3-0. 3-0. Oh, my God. We've got away with that. But thank God we come through it. Why do we do that? We do that way too often, where we let teams back in late on. It ends 3-2, but we were cruising at 3-0. It should never have been the case. But we do it again, ladies and gents. We lift another F-bet. League title. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Get in there. That's one down in today's episode. We've got one more to go. Hopefully we can book our place in the cup final and have a chance at another piece of silverware. As you can see, boys are walking around the pitch. Goalkeepers are doing cartwheels. 
it's a great day for full of ticks. And so here we have it, ladies and gents. Confirmation of securing our second league title. Um, yeah, that was too much. Way too much for me. Too much drama. They scored two goals in like two minutes. Ridiculous. Uh, we do the double because we won the Super Cup this year. I've actually entered the English Hall of Fame. Which is, uh, which is unbelievable. I'm not going to look at that today. I might look at that at the end of the season. Uh, we'll remember to look at that, though. But, yeah, we've, uh, we've, re we've reached a Hall of Fame sort of uh, part of the, of the series. Uh, two times now in a row. Unbelievable job. Uh, the board are very, very happy. Uh, Pencher was amazed at uh, Botev, as Botev failed to win. I'm not sure why. They weren't very good until they were in the position that they were in right at the end of the game, but uh, well-deserved. We're still undefeated. I wonder if we can finish the season like that. But anyway, on to that cup game. And so here we go, my friends. Last game of today's episode is, of course, the second leg of the cup. Uh, let's see if we can make it to the cup final. Remember, a 3-1 advantage going in to this big, big game. I've a little bit of rotation, nothing much. Um, just wanted to kind of change the team up a bit. Uh, energy levels are not a problem. We have had a 10-day break between the last game and this one. But we're going to go Petrov in goal, Atanasov and Verdanikov at fullback, Iradi Malinov centre back. We're going to go Dmitry Biankov centre midfield, Topes and Petkov on the wings, Gergliardi through the middle, and Zhivko up top. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You would have expected more people in the stadium, surely, for a big cup semi-final, but not to be the case for Locomotive. Uh, we'll wait and see the away in though and see if we're uh, filling the st stands with anyone but uh, yeah this is a big one I know we've got the 3-1 advantage but uh, teams can come back and I don't know if away goal counts either in this competition they obviously did grab themselves a goal in the uh, last game that could prove massive if that is the case but early doors in this one and it's us on the ball Dimitrov with a tasty little cross into the box no one gets on the end of it um, tight football we score it's Plum and Petkov 4-1 on aggregate 1-0 on the night and it's a great way to start and are we on our way to our first uh, Coupa na Bulgaria final that would be nice wouldn't it it'd be a nice way as well to finish this season and finish uh Finish the uh, the current season as far as the series is concerned. Obviously, next season's another big one. Um, no, we know we're going to be playing Champions League football. Zhivkov's through. He tried to chip, and that was a bit too cheeky. But yeah, we know we're going to be playing Champions League because uh, we've won the league again. But qualification, we've got to get through that once again. But I think it's going to probably be our biggest summer where transfers are concerned, uh, for sure. This is really good football, by the way. I'm ch chirpsing away. We actually played some good stuff there. Uh, but yeah, I think it is definitely going to be our biggest summer as far as transfers are concerned. Uh, we're going to have to really, really strengthen this team. Look at who the key players are and go from there as Yankov goes down injured. And that's actually not good. We're going to go Del Duca on. Dimitrov is going to play the ball winning role. Uh, yeah, let's hope that's not too bad. Eh? Yankov is a big, big part of this football team. Iradi now on the football out to Atanasov into Topes, into Del Duca. That's a great ball, but he's offside. He's like a mile offside. <laughs> we could all see that. We could all see that. Absolute mile offside, but really good ball from Del Duca. That does have to be said. Not been getting as much game time uh, recently as I may have liked. He's clearly a boy with some talent, but it's hard to get him in the team when you've got the likes of Dimitrov and Yankov just holding down the midfield the way they do week in, week out. Um, Topasov, back to Del Duca. Now Ratanasov, is he going to attack their fullback? No, early ball into the box. Doesn't quite come off, but we're going to get it back to recycle. And it's very much back against the wall kind of stuff, isn't it, for our opposition in this one? That's a good ball into Gagliardi. Doesn't score. He had a good opportunity. He was saved the second one. Just couldn't squeeze it around the keeper. Good uh, good pass and move from him, though. He definitely, definitely a talent, that Luigi Gagliardi. I, I, I think... We're on to something with him. We're definitely on to something with him. We're just going to have to wait and see if he develops. But Petkov now on the football. Uh, he's going to get sent off. And to be honest with you, that looked a pretty okay tackle to me. And he's going to get his marching orders. It's 10 men and I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, it's done. We're in the final. And um, it was easy as well, to be fair. The Mitchell's picked up a yellow. I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to protect him at half-time. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we have made it to half-time, by the way. I know I kind of rushed through that. 
Um, we're gonna, I think Del Duca is predominantly right footed, but he's gonna play this side. We're gonna go deep liar on defense. Actually, I'm gonna go on support. It's against 10 men now. So we'll go deep liar support and then we'll go box to box with uh, Mitov and we will bring him on uh, for the second half so he can play 45 minutes of football keep getting his development going he's uh he's been he's been a uh, he's been pretty good for us this season the times he's played have actually been pretty impressive with him so uh we just got to keep making sure that we get him some game time and some football and um they're trying aren't they to pass the ball out from the back and that hasn't worked for them that's into Gagliardi, who's got a lot of space, and in the end, he's just tackled because he's tried to do a bit too much. Um, they are back on the football, even with 10 men. You know, we've still got to be careful. And that's a ball. Gagliardi, is he going to get there? Yes, he is. He's on it. Is he going to go alone? No, he's not. It's a good effort, but it is straight at the keeper in the end, and it's pretty easy goalkeeping for him. Um Topes isn't having a good game, neither is Zhivkov. Topes is having a torrid time out on that right-hand side. Um, we've only got one more substitution to make, so that's why I'm not, not really making it too early, just in case. Uh, Petkov now. You know, drive forward, good stuff. Into Gagliardi, Topazov, lays it off to Mitov whose effort is over the bar. We're creating lots and lots of chances here, aren't we? 11 shots, 7 on target. Um, I'm going to bring Topazov off. He's not played that well. We're going to go Bonev as an inside forward, I think. Makes sense to do that. Definitely makes sense to do that. Picking up some yellow cards. Iradi and Petkov. Petkov's going to miss the next game. Whatever happens, he's missing the next game because of that yellow card as well. So uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Mitov's picked up a yellow. This is a combative game. Shall we just say that? Lots and lots of yellows being dished out in this one. Um, it's looking as though it's going to be a pretty easy day at the office for us. As Atanasov finds Del Duca who's got acres of space to run into, uses uh, uses that space to pass to Gagliardi. That's a wonderful ball into Bonev, who lays it off for Zhivkov. 2-0. It's 5-1. Let's be all be honest. We were we were cruising into the cup final anyway. What with that advantage? But uh, it looks as though we're going to potentially turn on the style at the end of the game as a corner comes in and uh, Verdnikov goes to Mop up, get the ball back. It's into Del Duca now, into Mitov. Back to Del Duca, who's actually used the ball really well since he come on. Mitov, I think, got in the way. Oh, you know when they you know when they run past players like that? You know, like when centre-backs just stand there? Stupid. Absolutely stupid. It doesn't happen, does it? This is still going. Uh, yeah, it's going to come to nothing. They hit the woodwork, by the way, with an absolute screamer, which I didn't. Pick up on. Iradi goes close. The latest player to get a shot off. <laughs> it's been a good game, isn't it? It's been a good game. No, not much excitement for me. There's not much to get excited about, let's be honest, because we've cruised through the game. But we are off to the cup final. And so this is confirmation of it, ladies and gents. We are going to be playing CSKA Sofia. I don't know how their second leg went, but they were 4-1 up from the first leg. So I would have been really surprised if they didn't make it to the final. It's going to be a difficult, difficult day at day at the office that but um i'm looking forward to it really really looking forward to it um let's go to the fixtures and discuss next episode so as you can see i've got a couple of games then the cup final and then there's one more after that um the the league games don't really matter now like we're we're trying to go undefeated but to be honest with you if i took a defeat or two and it meant i could rotate the team so that we were strong for that cup final i genuinely would do it but we're going to come back next episode. We're going to play the cup final. Just the cup final. And then we're going to do a season wrap up. It's the best way to do it. And we can then discuss next episode where this is going to go uh, from here. We will take a look at the league table, ladies and gentlemen, in all of its glory. Zhivkov hasn't scored uh, in today's episode, I don't believe. So um, that's a bit unfortunate because he can't extend that goal tally. Um, I think 21 goals is the most he's scored in the top league. So... Um, He's very close to being able to do that. But yeah, we, we are landslide victors of the FBET League this season. And I'm very, very happy about that. <laughs>
So there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of Project Black Sea. Thank you for joining me and thank you, this team, for another league title. Next time we compete in the cup final. Let's see if we can make this a domestic treble of sorts, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, I'm done and dusted. Subscribe if you're new and you've really enjoyed the content. Drop a like on it to support it. But my friends, I am done and dusted. I salute you all. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay humble. Later.